everyone, it's JA and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna go through the five things that we did in Ljubljana in Slovenia. And please like and subscribe if you want more videos like this one. What I loved about this city is that it's car free in the city center for the most part. So my son was able to run around, get some energy out wherever he wanted. Uh, you do have to pay attention to your kids if you have little ones because they could make their way into the canals. Um, you could fall in. So just make sure you keep an eye on them. I do suggest staying close to the city center where you can walk. There is some parking around the city center area, but it's probably best to walk just because parking can be a little limited at times. Uh, we never really had any issues, but you know, if you're not comfortable driving in a foreign country, it's probably best to just walk. Uh, I'll link the Airbnb that we stayed at. It was about a 10 to 15 minute walk to the beginning of the city center uh, and it was really convenient uh, since it was big and had multiple rooms. The other reason to stay close to the center is because most of the restaurants that we went to probably 90% of the time is within this area so that's another benefit of staying close by. About a 45 minute drive from Ljubljana is Bostoina Caves. This was really a lot of fun just because we got to ride a train in a cave, which is pretty awesome. And you know, it's beneficial when you have a kid so you don't have to do a lot of walking. There is some walking once to get down there, but it wasn't too bad. My son was able to walk all of it. I do recommend wearing layered clothing. It does get really cold down there and it was raining that day that we went so we were a little wet when we got down there so it felt a lot colder than it really was. And the other thing about parking there is make sure you pay for your parking before you get into the caves. We were there, I think it was the last tour before they closed and on the way out Oh, everyone was trying to pay for parking and there was I think only one machine so make sure you pay for your parking before you enter the cave so that you don't have to deal with the crowd afterwards. And of course we had to get another hike in to this trip. We went to Kostrak Waterfall which is about a two hour drive from Ljubljana so it was an easy drive, but it is fairly far, so it's up to you if you want to make that drive. And we didn't have too much of a problem, but the hike was definitely worth it. It was super easy, especially with a toddler on your back. And the trail itself was well maintained, and it was just beautiful. And most of all, it was not crowded, so it's definitely a hike that we loved. The hike itself took about an hour and a half to two hours round trip, uh, so we did stop a lot to take pictures and rest. And for the parents, if you just want a break and have your child play, City Museum was a lot of fun for my toddler. I didn't take a lot of videos just because I wanted to respect the children's privacy. There are a lot of kids there, but there are so many things and so many rooms that the kids can explore. So this is definitely a great place to go to if it's a rainy day. I really didn't want to go to another castle. We've been to so many castles in Europe, but this one has a really nice view of the city and beyond. So Ljubljana itself, you can see the mountains surrounding the area, which is really beautiful. Slovenia in general, which is really beautiful to go to. I think it's one of the more underrated countries 
in Europe and it was actually very affordable to go there. It's way cheaper than all the other countries that we've been to across Western Europe. So I definitely recommend it and it's very, very child friendly. I think we got lucky with the weather. We went towards the end of April, early May, and the weather was just beautiful. But I don't believe it's always like that during that time. So make sure you explore what time of the year you want to go to, depending on the activities that you want to accomplish. Mm-hmm.